Barlow to take the corner. Well, the flick on. And there's a shot from Ledbetter. Pinball in there. come off and there's Neil Warmer out his box it didn't take long but it had to pay off and Evans that was a great finish overcomes the corner lovely near post flick on Blake does well there in comes a strike this can go anywhere James is in there eventually falls to Evans great turn what a good finish Martin this is a big chance there I thought Exeter were getting away with this here the ball falls, look how quickly Evans reacts and fires at home. So, the top scorer gets a top goal for Plymouth Argyle, his 10th of the season. curling cross Moji in behind the defence oh beautiful just inside the post and the player who headed the goal at Wembley for Plymouth Argyle earlier this year heads one now and Plymouth will feel they're heading for round three of the FA Cup here's the big frame of Noel Blake back pulling away again and he's got that one beautifully and it set up a chance for Myers oh, and then it drilled in with a strike certainly worthy of his older brother. Well, I wonder if Neil Warnock's looking at his watch, Martin, because I thought, what's going on here? What a lifeline for Exeter. And Flack won the header. Myers will have uh, been greatly relieved after what happened from that. It was sharp, unerring. What a strike this is. But Myers must be a little bit embarrassed, but what a beautiful strike. Drop a line, no chance. And there's Peter Fox, delighted. He's back in this time. I have to say, I've been down here to see Peter Short when he was in charge in the past, and it was the same sort of problem, chairman and manager, same chairman. Well, I thought it was quite incredible to start the programme when he said, no, no problem at all with my manager, and then reeled off about 12 things <laughs> he's yeah. done wrong in the, in the past three weeks. And the other response was to Neil Warnock's suggestion that the club was in crisis, but they're not in crisis here, they're 3-1 up. They're surely now looking at a place in round three. Well, I thought that it was very, very well taken because Chris Billy came on to this A good strike but surely Bays he's got to do a little bit better there man it's a shame because I think he's had a good game but Billy good endeavour here pushes himself forward but for me that's a goalkeeper's ball Ashley Bays got to it but couldn't stop it going in well I think that's broken the heart of the Exeter fans now congratulations to him We're closing in on the Argyle celebrations now. Well, I made my phone call, Martin. I thought Tony James was outstanding. Evans. Little John goes to the near post. And it's 4-1. Adrian Little John puts the cherry on the icing on the cake. Comprehensive for Plymouth Argyle. Well, it's a classic striking partnerships goal <laughs> Evans realises he's got the pace goes direct has a little look, little John bides his time, now he comes the deftness of touches, beautiful striker's goal little John, here he comes now just a little nick in it through the keeper's legs, beautiful stuff, great play from Evans here there's a the look, 
He realizes little John's coming. Look at this, just a little touch of the toe. Smashing. Super result for Neil Warnock, who was worried at half time when Exeter pulled it back to 2 1 through John Sharp. But Adrian Littlejohn sealing the second half showing. Chris Billy also scoring at an important time. Mickey Evans had started it well. Ronnie Morge had marked his return to the club with a goal as well. And in terms of league status, the senior side goes through to the third round.